And how's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here, and I'm gonna show you a quick trick involving adjustment layers. This is something that I use every day, and I don't know if you know about it. Adjustment layers are really cool things in that what you can do is you can apply effects to them, and they will affect literally any clips that are below them. I'm gonna show you how to create one real quick. You're in your main Premiere Pro interface, you're gonna click down here to new item. You're gonna then click on adjustment layer. You're gonna click okay. You've now created an adjustment layer that you can now drag into your timeline. Now I'm going to drag this adjustment layer. Let's zoom in on the timeline a little bit. This adjustment layer is now affecting both of these clips. Now I'm gonna put an effect on this adjustment layer. I'm gonna just give you a quick example. Um, one idea, one thing you can do is you can say, add color. So let's bring the shadows down. Let's bring the blacks down. Let's bring the highlights up. Let's bring a little bit of saturation in here. Cool, now I've completely color graded this flat image. And the cool thing is this color grade is on the adjustment layer, but it's affecting both of these clips. If I were to scale back, the clip would go back to being uncolor graded. Okay, so that's not what I wanna show you. You can do a lot of things with adjustment layers. Right now, if you click on my adjustment layer, you can see that I have the Lumichi color effect that I put on it that's affecting these two clips. The second thing that I actually wanna show you is I can actually do a zoom trick where I can keyframe the zoom or I can zoom and continue zooming even after I cross into a clip. Usually without adjustment layers, it's kinda of hard to continue a keyframed scale up or a keyframed zoom between two clips because the effects controls panel changes in between clips. But what we can do is we can zoom through two clips by using an adjustment layer. This is the way that I feel like you would assume you would do it. So you would click on the adjustment layer and then you'd click on scale, enable keyframes. And then you'd go to, you know, almost the end of the second clip and then you'd zoom in. I'm zooming into like 300, right? And if I click play, I don't see any zoom. The scale is not taking effect. Basically I have the adjustment layer zooming in, but the zoom effect on the adjustment layer is not affecting these two clips below. That's weird, because that's the intuitive way where I would zoom in on an adjustment layer. What you actually have to do, let's actually undo this keyframe. Let's reset that back to normal 100. What you actually have to do is you have to go into the effects tab and actually go into video effects. Then you have to go into the distort folder. And then there's a transform effect that you have to actually put on to your adjustment layer. So for some reason, the default scale within the default motion effect does not work on an adjustment layer as far as affecting the clips below it. You have to actually literally put an additional effect from the effects window called transform and then control the scale there. And that will then affect the clips below an adjustment layer. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna keyframe the scale within this new transform effect. We're then going to, let's zoom in to like, we'll do 162. Let's put these keyframes on the end. And then as I play through this, I can play through in the timeline too. You can see that that zoom, or that scale, I should say, on the adjustment layer, which is, on, which is within this new transform effect that I had to put on, is now affecting both clips. As you can see, when you transition to the next clip, the zoom continues as if the clip change didn't happen. It's amazing. Cool, very quick tutorial. Just wanted to show you that, guys. I might do more tutorials on adjustment layers. Let me know if you want them. This video was brought to you by Envato Elements. You can get a free month below. Basically, you're gonna get unlimited downloads to one of the biggest digital products libraries on Earth. I use them every day, they're amazing. Free first month in the description below. Guys, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. I actually have two more videos for you to watch. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, remember to keep it chill.